Mark, Maniac Mark Lewin will also be here. Kevin Sullivan, another. He'll be talking more about the darkness spreading over the island. Superfly Tours also will be here in action. And again, of course, Exotic Adrian Street here on World Pacific Wrestling on Channel 4. Well, ladies and gentlemen, right now joining me in the locker room Everybody is Kevin. Knows you don't have to introduce me. You know something? I have seen a lot of strange things in my time, and I've seen a lot of strange locals. But I see that Adrian Street fits right in here with these locals. I mean, he looks... I went to a bar the other night, and I went into the bar. It must have been a wrong type of bar for me. I was like a... I forget what they call it, like Mahu or something, Yahoo, Mahu. But I walked in there, and everybody looked like it was an Adrian Street lookalike contest. Now, these are the type of people that don't infiltrate those kind of bars. We're not locals. You see, we're mainlanders. You know, Mrs. Maivia, I've told you this before. You can line them all up. You can ask for everybody's help. You can bring in Bruiser Brody with his two by four. You can bring everybody to eat them all. Line them up. But M.M. has called us. That's Mr. Phillips to you. You understand? Mr. Phillips is the man with the green. Mr. Phillips has brought in a man called Mr. B. And we're going to see how Adrian Street, how tough he is tonight. If Adrian Street don't have his purse with him, he doesn't have a chance. Because he's just like most of these locals around here. A little strange, dressed a little funny, and a lot of color in the air. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The darkness is spreading over the islands, according to Kevin Sullivan, anyway. You saw maniac Mark Lewin in there as well, along with the fallen angel. We've got all kinds of wrestling action for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen. You stay tuned. Venus Digital TV with Teletext has instant news, weather, or sports information. Love you. Trapped in a world turned upside down. Open the door or you are dead! On a night of lost innocence. He knows the boy is being murdered. inches from his front door and he doesn't even bother to look. What do you want from me? I want the truth. Bernard Hughes. The powerful drama, Night of Courage, Monday at 8. Gentlemen, the action continues at the Bladesdale Arena. We're getting you ready for the big battle royal coming up in just a few minutes. Over 20 wrestlers in this ring. One of them will climb to the top of that pole to claim the $50,000 prize. Along with the title belt, the $50,000 has been put up by the National Wrestling Alliance. This match is for real. Somebody is going to take home $50,000 tonight. Before that match, we've got a tag match for you, a six-man, uh, make that a four-man tag match. As you see approaching the ring now, the Prince of Darkness, the Fallen Angel, Maniac Mark Lewin. Ladies and gentlemen, entering the ring, the Prince of Darkness himself, Kevin Sullivan. And the Fallen Angel, Kevin's partner tonight. Brody a while back said he would never 
would be burned. But he was burned by the speech, and he just not, uh, decided not to show up here tonight. I don't know if he was uh, getting a weak need or what. I think the Sheik knew that Bruiser Brody was bringing that 2x4. Two 2x4. Two yeah, that's two. right. Missed the 2x4, and I think that's the reason why the Sheik didn't bring the fire. I think that's the reason why the Sheik didn't show up. And I just think the Sheik is afraid of Bruiser Brody. Because he knows that there is bad blood between these two. Uh, but then, you know, the Sheik has worked so many years with uh, Maniac Mark Lewin and Kevin Sullivan around the country in Hawaii as well. So that uh, for Bruiser, Brody, he's still getting what he wanted. Those people that have ganged up together so many times and caused so much uh, injury to him. Uh, Maniac Mark Lewin now and Bruiser Brody, they're locking hands. A human tug of war, I guess. distance he may not seem that big but when you get up next to him that guy is huge he is solid works out works out all the time you know he's another one of those that hardly ever speaks he, he lifts more weight than, than he works uh, he works out more than he talks well i don't know he doesn't talk too much scotty he just sort of stands there maybe maybe he's just taking it all in and sorting it all out and then uh, who knows you know but uh he doesn't say very much at all and of course walking around the ring someone we have to walk down for the fallen angel who has served in some way shape or form kevin sullivan every wish and whim one of the most beautiful ladies i've ever seen in a long long time also the most deadly there she is there she is and you see that that beam that she's yeah. making with those what fingers. I was I was I overheard some conversations, and that's one of the things that they do when they're about to, to pull out some kind of foreign object, or when they're about to go through someone's eyes using those illegal tactics. You know, Scotty, have you ever seen a scorpion fish? No, I haven't. Seen. The red and white, they got these signs and they're about the most beautiful fish in the sea, but they're also the most deadly. And that's the fallen angel right there. Beautiful, beautiful, and deadly. And so deadly, indeed. Her bite is just thin up. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, anyway, moving on with the wrestling action. <laughs> okay. Rooster Brody in there in a headlock. Maniac Mark Lewin, as they have taken the pads off the turnbuckle, right onto the steel. I don't know if the camera can pick them up or not, but Tully, what they've the done is that is gone, the padding that, is gone. That's steel now. And you know, Kevin, Kevin Sullivan is always uh, sort of uh, downing the locals and the putting the locals down and all this sort of thing, but uh, you know, he's in there with Superfly too. Ooh, now. That, that's hey. Now, he's one of our pride and joy. And look, you, know. you do see that, Charlie. He just made a very obscene gesture yep. to Superfly to it. Bruiser, look at the fallen angel getting into the action. She has yep. gotten something around Bruiser Brody's neck. I told you she's deadly, Scotty. There goes Superfly to it. Everyone in the ring again, Charlie. It's happened again. Who is fighting who? Everyone fighting everyone. Bruiser Brody taking on the maniac and Kevin Sullivan at the same time. Picking out Superfly Tui with an elbow to the chest. A big and an big illegal push. kick to the groin area of Bruiser Brody. Kevin Sullivan There's never, never plays fair. There's the Maniac. They're all in the ring at the same time. Tui taking a couple of big knees to his stomach pinned in the corner. Bruiser Brody looking for some opportunity to get Kevin Sullivan down to the mat for that all-important three count. Superfly to it being close to the corner there trying to recuperate. Wes Mandel has no control over this match whatsoever. And the thing that gets me, Carly, when you see a match like that, it seems like one of the teams is trying to play fair. The man will stay out of the ring if, if he hasn't been tagged in. And they get themselves in trouble sometimes, but it's good to see that at least they're trying to play by the rules. A tag has been made, Superfly to it now in the ring with Kevin Sullivan. Got him in the corner, a big fist to the face, another one. An elbow. Four, that was, was like a four-arm smash to me. There she is, Miss Wrestling. Fallen Angel. Fallen Angel. Beautiful and gentle. And Superfly to him runs in the head of Kevin Sullivan. And Kevin Sullivan gets him once in the midsection. And you know what that feels like, Cully. Oh, Scott. Look at that handful of hair. The referee doesn't see it.
Superfly to a throne out of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. He hit the floor, the Z Man right floor. Down here, right Full down here speed. Floor. Right down here on the floor. He is in pain. Maniac Mark Lewin you. has got him. Glasses, Here we go again. They're on the announcing table again. Bruiser yeah. Brody comes to the rescue. Now it's Mark Maniac Mark Lewin's turn. His head is slammed on the table. The Superfly doing his head in the table. Up a ring across the face of Superfly doing. Slams Kevin Sullivan's head into the table. On the other side of the ring, Bruiser Brody choking Maniac Mark Lewin. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wrestling kind of action. You can sit at home and watch it on TV, but it won't be as good as being here. You have to be here. January 28th, the next big event, wrestling event at the Blaisdell Arena. You can never see it all on TV. Things will happen that we cannot get on film. You've got to be here. January 28th, Blaisdell Arena, 7 o'clock in the evening. Wrestling action that you've never seen. Tully. You know, I was, uh, I talked to Jack Lord about two or three weeks ago. And he started it a long, long time ago, maybe about 16, 17 years ago, when he said, be there, aloha. And that's what it boils down to, Scotty. Being there, indeed, Scotty. You yeah. got that right. Superfly yeah. Fury being choked against the ropes now. A big forearm to the throat, to the back of the head. Superfly Fury is dazed. Can't find his corner, but he's coming back now. The bell has rung. The bell has rung. Bruiser Brody is getting after the guy who rang the bell. He doesn't want to stop fighting. Look at that, Tully. And now Superfly to it. Oh, no, Tully. Did you see that throw onto the turnbuckle? That's a steel turnbuckle, Scotty. There's no padding. There's no padding. They call him down there, Scotty. They rip the padding off Superfly to it. This is terrible. The action is going through the crowds now as they're leaving as they're lead, leading away from the ring. Tully, this is so exciting. We've got to take a break. I tell you what, Scotty, we'll take a break, but we'll be right back for more. Welcome to the wrestling on AIG Channel 4. Far Eastern Furnishings kicks off 1989 under. Michael Brady, two back with Floyd and the Happy Three back. You know, part of the fun of going to the wrestling matches is the crowd. We spoke with fans last night at the Blaze Show and asked them, why were they there? Well, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's entertainment. You pay $5, you know, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Even though it is uh, choreographed, but you know what I mean. I love it. I love the excitement, the you know, electricity of it. I love it. Oh yeah, it's a good laugh. So what's so exciting about it? Um, when they kill each other. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just a few minutes away. We're getting ever so close to the big battle royal. Over 20 wrestlers in the ring trying to climb that pole for the $50,000 and the heavyweight title belt. Right now, we've got a match for you introducing from England a wrestler, first time in Hawaii. He calls himself Exotic Adrian Street.